Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. This time we are going to look at addition and subtraction of integers and we will be using algebra disks. An algebra disk has got two sides. It has got the front part and it has got the back side. Okay? The front shows number one and the back shows negative one. To get the negative of one, we flip, we flip one to come up with negative one. And we write it as negative of one, which is the same as negative 1. To get negative of negative 1, we flip negative 1 to obtain 1. And we write it as negative of negative 1, which is the same as 1. Okay? What happens if we put two disks 1 and negative 1 together. 1 and negative 1 together. For that case, this can be written as 1 plus negative of 1. So once we put them together, then we get a 0 pair. Okay? To write Number three, we can write, we can have three disks of one. This means three. And if we want to write, let's say four, then we will have to get one, 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 and one. In other words, we get four disks of one. To get five, we get five dis we get five disks of one and so on. Okay. Now when we have three disks of negative one, then we have got negative three. To get negative four, then we have to get four disks of negative one and so on. Okay. Now let us now perform addition. In example 1, we have got 5 plus negative 2. 5 plus negative 2. Now for that case, we will have to get 5 disks of 1 to represent positive 5. And we get 2 dig and we get 2 disks of negative 1 to show negative 2. Now you see that a disk of 1 and a disk of negative 1 will show a 0 pair. So this and this make a 0 pair. Then this and this will also make a 0 pair. Then we will remain with 3 disks of 1. And that is 3. This means that 5 plus negative 2, we get 3. Okay? Actually, this can also be seen in this way. If I have positive and negative, it will actually give me a negative. So, this is the same as 5 minus 2 which is 3. Okay? We look at another example. Negative 5 plus 2. Okay? Negative 5 plus 2. So we have 5 disks of negative 1 and we have 2 disks of 1. Okay? Now, this will make a zero pair to remain with 
negative 3. So this implies that negative 5 plus 2 equals negative 3. Okay? We can also write this as minus 5 plus 2, which is the same as minus 3. Okay? We look at example number 3. We have a negative of 5 plus a negative of 2. Then, we will show 5 disks of negative 1 and 2 disks of negative 1. Since both of them are negatives, they cannot make a zero pair. So we cannot pair them. So this means that altogether we have got negative 7. So negative of 5 plus negative of 2, we get negative 7. Okay? We can actually show this in this format. Because we have plus and minus, that actually gives us a minus. So it implies that we have got negative 5 minus 2, which is the same as negative 7. Okay? Now, let us perform subtraction. We have got negative 5 minus 2. Then, for that case, it is the same as a negative of 5 plus a negative of 2. Okay? So we have got negative of 5 minus 2. Because we actually know that a positive and a negative will give us a negative. Okay? So then we have negative 5. Remember, we use 5 disks of negative 1 to show negative 5. And we can use 2 disks of negative 1 to show negative 2. And since both of them are negatives, we cannot have a zero pair. So altogether, we will get a negative of 7. So our answer will be negative 7. Okay? Another example. We have got 2 minus 5. So then, this is the same as 5 plus a negative of 5. 2 plus a negative of 5. So we will get 2 disks of 1 and 5 disks of negative 1. Okay? Now, since I have 1 and negative 1, that will make a 0 pair. And this 1 and this negative 1 will make another 0 pair such that I remain with negative 3. Okay? So negative 3 becomes our answer. We look at example 3. We have 5 minus negative 2. So, we understand that a negative of a negative will always give us a positive. A negative of a negative will give us a positive. So we actually have 5 plus 2. So those are 5 disks of 1 to represent 5 and 2 disks of 1 to represent 2. And for this case we cannot make a 0 pair because all of them are 1s. So this will give us a positive of 7. Okay? We look at example 4. We have got negative of 5 minus negative of 2. Remember, a negative of a negative gives us a positive. So we have negative 5 plus 2. Negative of negative gives us plus. Okay, so we have five disks of negative 1 
to represent negative 5 and two disks of 1 to represent 2 and then this negative 1 and this 1 will make a 0 pair even this negative 1 and this 1 will make a 0 pair so we remain with negative 3 so negative 3 becomes our final answer okay now I want you to pause the video and do this practice number one find the values of the following okay number one two three part two find the values of the following this one this one and this one now I believe that you can now add and subtract integers. Thank you and have a good day.